All right, so I'm gonna make my more realistic portrait. Start by sketching my circle very lightly around my plate. A line that swells about half to three quarter or two thirds of the top of the circle. Find the half, find this half, find that half. I can fit five eyes across. So these were where my eyes will end up being. Eyes kind of go up and then down as a slope. Depends on the person too. Your nose will be in between your eyes. You can see the very flatness of your nostrils. This is the bottom of my lip. So the middle of my mouth will go straight up, or straight, but a little curve up, come down a tiny bit, like a little bump inside of a very, very slight hill. My filbrum will be more distinguished. Come up, dip down, come back down. And the distance between the middle of your mouth and the edge of your mouth really will depend on lip size. If you had me last year, you know that the eyes, you'll have your iris, your pupil, you my eyelid, Halfway up that circle will be my eyebrows. Eyelashes curve to the right on the top right, the left on the top left. The bottom is the opposite way, down and to the left, down to the right. You have tear ducts, which put little kind of parentheses in the corners of your eyes. Like that. And about halfway up, the remainder of your head from your eyes will be your hairline. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But let's go ahead and shape your face a little more. It will come in a little bit depending on the person, go out. Ears go from your brow line to about your nose. So you might not see all of them because the person's cheekbones. It'll be kind of just like a sliver. Your neck. Start right about here, go down. So it's kind of like where the mouth is, somewhere wide as between your eyes and your outside of your head. And what I do is I, uh, a little bit up, just kind of go straight, or not straight up, but a little slanted to them. Now, there are two lines to worry about with hair. The first line is your um, hairline. So it might be just kind of like a little curtain like this from ear to ear. It might be more shapely if you, is there shorter hair? So you might go up, across, down. Widow's Peak would kind of just be like 
a big curvy M. And then there's the line of your hair shape. So it could be anything that like if it's shorter hair from like going from the top of your head and becoming curly or straight. If it's short, maybe it's straight and kind of flips out a little bit like that, but it goes around your skull. It doesn't like stick to your skull and it lands somewhere down here. If you have bangs, instead of this hairline, your hair would come down from the line. Like that. So for the, my purposes, I'm gonna keep my hair in, out of my face. And I'm going to do wavy, longer hair. Now, for my person, it's just going to go behind my shoulders, and this whole space right here is my hair. After you get here, you can erase guidelines. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'm going to show you Chuck, Chuck Close Shaded, Chuck Close in Color, and the Chuck Close with the grid.